Welcome back to the good old ways. My name is Julian and together with my husband Justin and our two-year-old son We recently moved to our dream property and are building our homestead from the ground up starting with our cabin This video is super exciting because we finally get the roof on our cabin Which is awesome because winter is right around the corner with tons and tons yeah. of snow coming If at any point during this video you like what you're seeing Please feel free to join our family by clicking that subscribe button below it actually really, really helps us get the word out and connect with like-minded people like you. So just keep that in mind while you're watching and be like, ooh, I like what they got going on. Click, that would be super awesome. Without further ado, on to the video. That polystyrene extruded foam is so disgusting to cut. <coughs> really wish that we had the time and energy and all that kind of good stuff to like experiment with like mud and like earthen solutions and like an earth ship, but we don't. We have a toddler. We need a roof overhead. We just need to get this done and we don't want to experiment with our values of straw or newspaper right now but this stuff super nasty i had a piece just come up and like hit me in my eyeball and then i wear this just to like keep it on my mouth and it stinks when you heat it up with the, the table saw it heats it up as you cut it and it's just it's like it's so nasty Ugh. Foam, dude. You want to help daddy? Sweet. I like that. All right. So one of the things I have to do my job as Justin is securing the foam to the roof. I have to come in and make sure that he is actually drilling into the rafters instead of like sticking out of it. So I'll try to show you guys right now. for this to happen because there's a few moments in between each rafter. So the styrofoam reminds me of the styrofoam smell reminds me of when I used to do construction inspection at my engineering job before I retired and moved here. When they like looks good when they create new roads and they lay asphalt. Asphalt is poured kind of like lava and it just comes out of a truck and it oozes all over and then, then you compact it and roll it and get it smooth. And 
It is so stinky. They had to get compaction shots every 50 feet and like make sure it was hot enough and stuff like that. But it was so freaking gnarly because it was just reeking and you would be standing on it. And it was so hot that it would actually burn your shoes and make your feet hot. And it just felt really toxic. Like you were in a volcano except like a petroleum volcano, which is probably a little worse than a regular volcano. Except obviously if you were in a volcano, you would be like fully dead and roasted. So maybe it's a little bit better, but you know what I mean? <laughs> So we ended up going for cedar for the fascia and it mm, smells so good. Our hot tub that we got is also a cedar hot tub and I cannot wait. Does this feel like a milestone? Getting the fascia on? Yeah. Better than all that other crap. For sure. It's like the ribbon on top of a package. It's nice yeah, to put on. It actually looks nice as opposed to everything up there. What, you don't think that foam looks nice? That's some good looking foam, I don't know, man. So Justin is screwing on the last screws on the fascia, which means that we are done now with the boom lift. We actually ended up hiring somebody to do our roof to finish the metal roofing. We did all the underlayment with the boom lift, which was awesome. Uh, we had a little bit of a snafu where we got one and then had to drive it all the way back because it was leaking. This one worked out really well. And although it reminds me a lot of Dr. Evil in his office chair, Justin's like going back and forth all over the place. There he goes again. Um, yeah, it worked out really well and we are excited to have somebody else come and do the metal part of our roof. Got a roof. Goodness. Can we get a what, what? <laughs> we needed a roof, and now we have one. <laughs> the easy way. 
Yeah, the easy way. <laughs> they did a great job. How long do you think that would have taken us? Forever. <laughs> <laughs> All winter. That looks really good with this detail back here too. All the wood came together just perfectly with the the metal. It looks awesome. They got a little detail up there. Heck yeah. It's crazy to know all the different layers that go into actually, like, you know, when you see a roof like that, it's not just a roof, it's like all this stuff underneath, too. That looks so awesome with your braces in there. The freaking roof looks awesome. That is a temporary thing that's going away, that thing that's sitting on top of those top beams. You want to watch Dinosaurus Rex? Yeah. Hmm. How daddy can act if that's okay? Hey friend, editing Julian here. Just a quick update on the roof. They did do a really great job on the roof and it was actually perfect timing because we ended up getting snow like a week later or something. So it was the most perfect timing you can get. However, uh, Justin went back and looked at some things and they were actually missing a few screws into some of the holes and then they hadn't sealed properly some of the parts on the ridge. And so he actually called them and asked them to come back. Just a reminder, you know, the people installing the stuff that are installing for you, they really should be making sure their work is right. However, unfortunately, it really is up to you in the end to make sure that they did a good job. So even after people install stuff, don't be scared to call them and be like, hey, yo, come and get these freaking screws in our roof, man. So just a little tidbit that I wanted to share with you. Otherwise, they did a good job. So we are out at the river celebrating getting our roof on. We haven't taken our raft out in <coughs> a very, very, very long time. So that's what we're doing right now. And I cannot wait because it is so beautiful outside, especially for mid-October. So now we just dropped the boat off at the put-in. And now we're going to go back to boating. is always a little interesting to me because I we have to we put it out of the put-in with two cars. We each have our own car. And then we have to go to the takeout and drop my car off and then we have to come back to the put-in so uh, it's kind of like a mental puzzle I got to do in my head <laughs> but anyway can't wait it's so beautiful out and it feels really good to have the roof done so feels like we can go out and enjoy the day <clears throat> oh yeah you excited it's been a long time We live right over there on the other side of that little hill right there. All right, now we are at the takeout. So I'm gonna drop my car off and get into Justin's car. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. No, we're leaving Justin's truck here because it has the trailer on it. And so we're all going back in my car because the trailer needs to be up the takeout. I don't know why it's so hard for me sometimes to get this. What do you guys think? You think I nailed the the rafting outfit with the blue stripes and the hat? Oh yeah, I'm not the captain though, Justin is. It is Remy's first time in the boat. He's been on a lake before, but never on the river. So this is super exciting. Let's get ours on and then he'll get his on probably. Baby, we gotta do it. Remy, freust du dich auf die Fluss? Ja, es wird richtig viel Spaß machen, ha? Huh? Du siehst es richtig süß aus. Möchtest du hier sitzen mit mir? Ja. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Remy on the river. Remy on the river. Yeah, baby. He had a nap in the car, so he's a little on the slow side still. Very white water in this stretch, but 
We, the stretch that we're on is, but the takeout's literally like right around the corner. So since it's the first time on the river with Remy, we wanted to feel very safe and that we could, that we didn't have to be on the river for a really, 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 really long time. Let's 